Gentleman from Alabama, Mr. Brooks, is recognized for his questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ever since human beings have been on the planet, sea levels have risen relative to ground levels. Why is that? Any of you can opine as you wish. Well, I'd be happy to address that. Um, sea levels over the last three million years have gone up and down uh, in line with the cycles of uh, ice ages uh, and interglacials, and I can ex expound on the science of that if you wish. Uh, the recent, uh, the last hundred year increase in sea level rise, as I mentioned earlier, has uh, clearly been uh, attributed to uh, human activities, uh, greenhouse that gas emissions. That wasn't my question. I appreciate your wanting to expound on that. Yeah. My statement is that since human beings have been on Earth, sea levels have risen. What are the factors that have caused it to rise? Well, as, as I said, uh, sea levels have gone up and down. Uh, I'm talking net, not fluctuations. Over Let's assume for a moment that what you're talking about has some kind of factual, rational basis for it, uh, that ice has melted. Are there other factors? No, look, you know, look. No, there at, are not other factors. Looking yes at the no? history of sea level rise uh, is is very uh, is very informative. And we, one of the things we see, for example, is that the last time uh, the global temperature was as high as it hey, is. Hey, Dr. Duffy, you're not answering my question again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm conceding for the moment that there has been ice meltage compared to what it was three million years ago, whatever, since that's the time frame you use. I'm asking another question that is. What other factors have caused the sea levels to rise relative to dry land? Does anyone else have any? I mean, you, in, okay, in particular, you, Dr. Duffy, you said that they're going to be massive. Isn't that the word that you use in your uh, remarks? Massive sea level rises. Don't you think if you're going to have that kind of statement, you ought to have some idea as to what all the causes of sea level rises have been sure. since and human if, beings if, have been if on you're, Earth? If you're referring to ground subsidence, uh, that is a factor in some regions. Okay, what else? That's one. So now we've gotten two. What else? G ground subsidence is not going to cause uh, the levels of sea level rise that arouse my concern. I'm just asking for factors. I, would not, I was not asking for your prioritizing of one over the other, but you've mentioned two. What else? Those are all that I know of. What about erosion? Every single year that we're on Earth, you have huge tons of silt deposited by the Mississippi River, by the Amazon River, by the Nile, by every major river system, and for that matter, creek, all the way down to the smallest systems. And every time you have that soil or rock, or whatever it is that is deposited into the seas, that forces the sea levels to rise because now you've got less space in those oceans uh, because the bottom is, is moving up. Um, what about... Um, I'm pretty the, sure the that that's the White Cliffs of Dover, uh, California, uh, where you have the waves crashing against the shorelines, and time and time again you're having the cliffs crash into the sea. All of that displaces water, which forces it to rise, does it not? I, I'm pretty sure that on human timescales, those are minuscule uh, effects. Okay, well, let's talk about ice for a moment. Where is most of the ice located on planet Earth? Antarctic ice sheet. And how much? I don't. I don't have a number in my head. Do you have a rough estimation or idea? The, of how the much amount the of ice. ice the amount Antarctica? of ice in the Antarctic ice, uh, ice sheet, if melted, would raise global sea level. I'm not by asking how feet. much. Okay, you keep well, going. you did ask you, how much. You don't ask the, answer the question. My question is, how much of the ice on the Earth is in Antarctica? I'm not asking you to expound on anything else. I'm trying to limit you to that particular question. Don't know the answer. Do you have any idea? I wouldn't want to speculate in this forum. Well, would it surprise you if it's as high as 85 to 90 percent, that that's generally where the estimates are of the total amount of ice on Earth is in Antarctica? It would not surprise me. And would it surprise you to know that as global uh, temperatures rise, assuming for the moment that they do, that that actually increases the amount of ice that is collected on Antarctica? That's not true, sir. That's not true. Well, I made a trip down to Antarctica and met with National Science Foundation scientists, and they all agreed with global warming, and they emphasized that you're going to have an increase in the amount of ice in Antarctica because of global warming. Now, have you ever studied 
I understand you studied climate, but how, do, how about meteorology? Have you ever studied meteorology? I have, and, and okay, I'll... Okay, so you we understand have, that as the temperature we gets have warmer, satellite can records. Contain, Sir, wait we a have second. Please, uh, you've answered my question. I, I don't want you to orate because mm -hmm. I have limited time. Uh, if, the, if the chair would uh, please permit, uh, as I try to get this point across. Okay, with that objection, the gentleman is recognized for another 30 seconds. Do you understand that as temperatures rise, more moisture is contained in the atmosphere, and then that moisture in Antarctica collects on land, and it takes hundreds and hundreds of years for that ice that is deposited on Antarctica to actually ever even reach the shoreline where it touches the oceans where it can affect, uh, in some way, uh, sea level increases? We have satellite records uh, clearly documenting a, a shrinkage of the Antarctic ice sheet and an acceleration of that shrinkage. I, I'm sorry, but I don't know where you're getting your information, but the scientific data well, that I have National seen National Snow and Ice Data Center. Well, okay, I'm talking the National NASA Air and other, Aeronautics okay. and Space Administration. Well, you, I've got a NASA base in my district, and apparently they're telling you one thing and, and me a different thing, but there are plenty be, of studies that have come out that show that with respect to Antarctica, that the total ice sheet, particularly that above land, is increasing, not decreasing. Now, you can make a different argument if you want to talk about Greenland or, or the Arctic. But that having been said, thank you, Mr. Chairman, thank you, for the Thank indulgence. you, Mr. Brooks. And the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. 